dogs in our area are in danger of becoming homeless or worse. Nine News reporter Jessica Nola is showing us one woman's fight to save the four-legged friends and how you can help her. This is Jinx and Danny, and she still needs a name. They look like your pets, and to Melanie Dotson, they are. You good old boy. Danny, a red bone coon hound, has been at the Highland County Humane Society shelter for nine years. He's been hit by a car and in and out of three homes. Come here, see mama. Come on. Everybody is treated in there like my family. These 10 puppies are brand new, left in a box, abandoned, just two weeks old. So many animals are left, you know, no spay, no neuter. Next thing you know, we've got puppies. After 50 years of taking in abused and neglected animals, the no-kill shelters in danger of closing. I can't imagine ever leaving them. Nip, 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 nip. It costs them about $70,000 in donations to run the shelter for a year. They have $7,000 left. That's enough to stay open for two months. Watch this. You know, we're their only voice, and we need to be heard. If they do close, animals like Sweetie would be taken to the pound where they need to be adopted fast or else they're put down. Legally, they only have to give those dogs 72 hours. Luckily for Molly, she'll never know that fate. She's a good little girl. She's the newest member of this family who adopted her today. In Hillsborough, Jessica Knoll, 9 News. Right after our interview, six more puppies were dropped off at the shelter. If you want to help the shelter or if you want to adopt any of the animals, please do so. Go to WCPO.com. Tough to watch without not wanting to do something. It sure is.